The doctor told me, all right, you're at a certain age where you have to have the procedure. And I, I want to be delicate here. Um, starts with C, ends with olanoscopy. All right, so I had to do that. <laughs> Just so you know, Robert, uh, this is no walk in the park, which is true. You cannot be in a park. You cannot be two feet from a bathroom because they, they, they just give you this stuff. They give you a lake of laxative to, to clear out everything that you have only partially digested from the time you were five. So it's, just, it's, all, it's, all, it's like, you know, bazooka gum, Dakota rings, it's all coming out. It's going out. Uh, now, now, my wife and I uh, decided to do this together. So that's a... Um, we, we, we took the, the hospital romance package. That's what that was. That's... That's something you don't find in Cosmo, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you that. So, so we check in the hospital, we're both five to 10 pounds lighter, and they, they have a checklist, and they go, Mr. Lee, uh, did you leave your dignity in the car because you can't bring it in here? And it's true. Oh, it is the most embarrassing, if you've been, anyone done this, you just know that they make you strip down to your socks, and they give you a hospital doily, which covers nothing. It's like, you know, had, had I known, I would have brought a third sock. This is really embarrassing here, it's just not good at all. Um, that's just a visual for all of us to share there. So, um, and, they, and, and they put you on a gurney with your hiney showing out for everybody to see. It's like, well, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I would have waxed had I known I was going to be here today. Um, and then they start wheeling you down the hallway, just down the hallway. With, you know, tours are going by, you know. Sorry, Sister Mary saw too much. I apologize for that. You know, I'm just singing Moon River. Why do they... Now they take you into the, uh, the, the procedure room and, and they hook you up to the happy juice and you're gone. You, you have no idea. I mean, you're, you're just out. Uh, it's like they could pull a Caitlyn Jenner, you wouldn't know. You're just gone. And so you wake up. You're out. <laughs> it's like, what are these? All right, so you wake up. And, and like four days later, in a pool of drool, with no memory of what happened, and the nurse comes in and says, well, Mr. Lee, uh, to do the procedure, we had to fill you full of gas uh, so the rotoscope could move freely about the cabin. And before you, we can send you home, you have to release that gas. Like, are you going to use it again? Like, How much did this cost? I will spring for the extra gas. I really would like to keep it, if that's okay with you. No, 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 and, and this was not a small amount of gas. I was the Hindenburg, ladies and gentlemen. I was a Macy's Day Parade float. I was, in, interns with ropes were trying to pull me back down to the bed. So I, I gave them back their gas. Oh, I did, yes, I did. Uh, I, I was a human whoopee cushion. And, and so loud when the doctor came in and says, everything's fine. What? I said, everything's fine. I can't hear you. I said, I'll come back. Oh, God. <laughs> the worst thing is that you are not allowed to drive yourself home. No, they, they, uh, because you're under, still under anesthesia, they make a friend drive you home. And it's horribly embarrassing. My, so my wife and I are in the back seat, tooting in harmony all the way home, <laughs> just praying we'd get pulled over by a cop so I could say, I'm sorry, officer, but we're almost out of gas. 